First time in months. And Cool chose the right time to grab his first goal in City Colours, smashing home following a fluent move down the left. Brian. Barnes ball to Edwards. Let's try a shot for a moment. Instead, we'll find Nugent. Nugent must score and does. And City have the early lead. And they deserve it as well. Kevin Nugent with the goal. Edwards with a perfect ball and Nugent in acres of space pulled it down the chest and sent the keeper the wrong way. Well, finds Carey. It's a poor ball towards Benz, but Benz done superbly to make something of it. Whipped in the cross, chance again, and this time Kevin Nugent makes it count. It's 1-1, and you have to say that Bristol City thoroughly deserved that. Certainly warmed up the fans on a very cold afternoon. And a lovely finish at the end of a lovely move. Junior Bent did ever so well on the right-hand side to get City moving in that attack. And he finally produced a superb cross, and Kevin Nugent hammered it home. Oh. And the match was deep into injury time when midfielder Martin Cool slammed the ball home to snatch the win and three valuable points. Um, Tinian, early ball, tries to release Nugent, battling against Barr, Nugent's there, and Kevin Nugent has found the back of the net, and City are 2-1 up. This is fourth goal of the season, he showed great strength there in holding off the challenge, and a cool head to ram the ball past Mark Gale. Route one stuff really I suppose for City. The perfect result as the ball nestles in the back of the net. Good header by Nugent. Maskell's layoff to Hewlett. Nearly went all the way. Nugent! Gavin Nugent is second of the game. And City are back in front. Incredible topsy-turvy match here at Ashton Gate. Kevin Nugent certainly enjoying himself. Looked like it might open up for Hewlett. He was blocked, but the ball fell kindly for Nugent, and he thrashed it home. Lovely strike from the centre forward, and no chance at all for the goalkeeper. Park at the moment. Now Agostino. Barnard's here in support. And here's Cool, 2-1. City back in front. And it comes just really when Bradford are having their best spell. Agostino doing well, finding Barnard. And that is an inch perfect cross, met by a powerful run from Martin Cole. And the keeper had absolutely no chance at all. He timed his run to perfection. The defender stood off. And sitting back in front. They're also heading in the right direction with Martin Cole leading the charge. After scoring their winner on Saturday, he was on target again after 37 minutes at Brighton. A case of cool in midfield, red hot in front of goal. Four minutes into the second half, it was game over when the home keeper failed to clear and cool rammed home the loose ball. His third goal in two games, a handy return which has lifted City up to 11. John Ward makes one change from the side which played in midweek and that sees Worrell to claim victory over Rovers in two separate spells in charge. This is the lineup he hopes will put that right today for football. So it's the visitors, Bristol City, dressed all in red this afternoon who kick off. Tilson just gets a foot in, it's broken for Agostino, Nugent and Tinian to aim for. Agostino's cross, Kevin Nugent, and the side foot into the back of the net. Bristol City ahead after nine minutes. Well, Kevin Nugent restored to the side in place of David Seal, and there's the justification for that decision. Still work to be done for Rovers. 
Bristol City just with a spring in their step, as you might expect from that goal. Channing in trouble. Nugent. Martin Cool. Well, it was a good chance for the midfielder. Good play again by Stewart in for Beadle. On to Gurney. Andy Gurney has equalised. And Twerton Park has exploded. Sharper as well. Still a danger, though. Here's Bent for Bristol City. Past Morgan. Clark just did enough to put off Nugent. Channing in with the tackle, helped by Gurney. There's no need for that, really. Tampa's beginning to flare there. It was Tinian and Gurney, the main two protectors. Tinian away from Channing. Agostino and Nugent ahead of him. Bent trying to get there. Tinian's cross. Might drop for Hewlett. Deflection. 2-1 to Bristol City. And on the stroke of half-time, it's the youngster, Matt Hewlett, who's got the goal. Well, a savage blow to Bristol Rovers coming just before the break. And a deflection which gave goalkeeper Andy Collett no chance at all. But uh, spreads the play wide to Bent. Faced by two. Bent gets his cross deep to the far post. Agostino with a header. It's 3-1 to Bristol City. And it's a splendid goal by Paul Agostino. <laughs> eyeball to eyeball between Beadle and Bryant. Martin Cool trying to act as peacemaker. Rovers are in trouble here, it's two against one. Nugent finds David Seal. And David Seal plants it into the corner, it's all over, it's 4-1 to Bristol City. And it's the classic counter-punch. Well, Rovers, banking on attack, had left only Tilson back. It was two against one, he was never going to be able to stop City getting a shot in on goal. David Seal put it right in the corner. There's surely no way they can pull back three goals in five minutes. They're trying their hardest. It's a mass scramble. It is in. It's 4-2. And I think it's Billy Clark who's got the goal. To win this, the 80th league meeting between the Bristol clubs. A goal scored by Nugent, Hewlett, Agostino and finally David Seal. Gurney and Clark on target for Rovers, but it's their second setback of a bad week. Bristol City doing all the celebrating. The final score here at Twerton Park, Bristol Rovers 2, Bristol City 4. Cool drives one forward, looking for Nugent, an awkward bounce, and Nugent's in here for a moment. And Kevin Nugent has put Bristol City 1-0 up, and it's completely against the run of play. Well, it's just about Bristol City's first attack of the game. It's come after 18 minutes and it's brought a goal. Kevin Nugent, the bounce just deceiving the defender. Nugent away and didn't he finish it well? His seventh goal of the season. Seal to ours. On again for Seal. Plenty of space for him. Nugent, ours. Great save. Nugent. Game over for Bristol City. Kevin Nugent second of the game. And he makes the win safe. You have to feel a little bit sorry for goalkeeper Andy Marriott. A fine save initially. Nothing he could do about the follow-up. Nugent showing a real striker's instinct. Pouncing on the rebound and rifling it into the roof of the net. Cool. Superb strike by Martin Cool. He just passed 
it into the top corner and that is a class finish. Well, the Rotherham goal under all kinds of pressure. I have to feel a bit sorry for the goalkeeper. What about that for Martin Cool? Really cool head and he planted it into the top corner. A super goal. The first of those arrived after only 11 minutes at the end of a simple but effective builder. Luton's keeper parried the first effort but a left foot strike followed by a celebration somersault and Goodrich announced his arrival in style. Sean Gota also produced a highly impressive display. His link-up with Kevin Nugent paved the way for goal number two. City were hitting all the right notes and so too were their fans. A minute after the restart, Gota got the goal his hard work deserved. Brian Tinian, the provider, and a perfect finish from the summer signing. More delight for the City fans, but even Gota couldn't keep Goodrich out of the limelight. The winger's second goal and City's fourth again had a touch of class about it. A neat shimmy, a powerful shot into the far corner, and poor Luton Town were on the slide. Their gloom deepened even further when midfielder Tony Thorpe was sent off after appearing to throw a punch at City's Darren Barnard. And as on loan defender Jason Cundy made it five, Ashton Gate reached fever pitch. But man of the match Goodrich was staying calm. Cool will take the kick. Six men to aim for. Nugent's on the near post. Everyone's missed it. Kevin Nugent hasn't and Bristol City have the lead. 16 minutes gone into the game and Kevin Nugent backs his second goal of the season. Extraordinary goal in many ways. Nugent went up for the near post header with a defender. Neither player seemed to know where the ball was. And when it dropped, Nugent was the first to react. He buried his shot past Bobby Mims. Again, only as far as ours. Might fall for Seal. Stop by Mims. The rebound in from Nugent. Preston are looking for a flag, but the goal counts, and Bristol City lead 2-1. While well, the first chance fell to David Seal, it was well stopped by Bobby Mims, but no chance at all for the keeper as it ricocheted back past him from Nugent. This kick right across the face of goal, which. Goodrich has latched on to, chances now for City, Goodrich has crossed, turned in by Kevin Nugent and Bristol City are ahead inside two minutes and what about that for a start? Well there were questions about whether Nugent or Agostino should start for Bristol City, Kevin Nugent got the nod and how he's made it uh, pay. His fourth goal of the season. They took the lead through a spectacular strike by Martin Kuhl on the stroke of half time. But his rugby inspired celebrations, culminating in a debagging, proved rather premature. Swansea. 22. And three minutes later, it was 3 0, a typically robust shot from the experienced Martin Kuhl. Fourth goal of the afternoon. Kevin Nugent added a late one as well. Bristol City 9, St Albans Five minutes, And then two minutes after the break, Kevin Nugent capped a fine performance with a well-taken goal. Gota, Nugent, lovely one-two. Gota, good save. Kevin Nugent against his old club gets the goal that should see Bristol City safe. Well, he enjoyed it. They enjoy it. And that really should be that as far as Bristol City are concerned. Super link-up play again.